Let's continue from previous video. Now in this video, I've just created a content type called product. And I've also created a taxonomy called category. This taxonomy is a multi-level category. You can see fashion. Under fashion, we have men and women. And under men, we have shoes and clothing. It's three levels. One, two, three. Now let's go to product content type and create a term reference field that link to this taxonomy. Let's go to structure, content types, product, manage field. Let's create a field called category. Add new field, type category. Field type select term reference. Widget we select select list and click save. Save field settings. Require field. Save settings. Let's drag it up under title and click save. Now let's add a product. Let's go to content, add content, product, fill in the title. For category, let's choose the deepest level, fashion, men, shoes. Fill in the body. Scroll down and click save. Now this path is generated from our default pattern. We are going to use a pattern so that the path will be generated from the category. We want to display the path like product, fashion, slash, man slash shoes and whatever the note title is so let's do it let's go to the pattern page configuration search and metadata url aliases patterns right hand click on the mouse and let's open link in a new tab let's go to this site patterns now currently this pattern for all product paths is empty. That's why it uses a default. So we're going to fill this with ours. Now back to our product page. I will copy this ideal path, Ctrl C, and back to our pattern page and paste it here. Now let's update one by one. The last one is easy. We know it is the node title. So we replace it with a node title token. Let's copy from the top here. Ctrl C. And replace here. Ctrl V, paste it. The shoes is actually the category that we selected. So let's find the right token and replace. Click on replacement patterns. Nodes. Category. And this is the token we want. Click this token. Scroll up. It has filled it up for us. As for fashion and men, they both actually are the parents of this selected category. So we are going to replace this with a right token as well. However, there's no appropriate token we can use to select all the parents and join them into the path. If we scroll down and take a look at this category, there's nothing more we can drill down. So we need to install one more module in order to get the missing tokens out. That's called Entity API module. By installing that module, we'll have more tokens to be used. So we need to install the Entity API module to get all these tokens available to us. Let's install the module first. Let's go to Entity API module page. Scroll down. Right click on the mouse and copy the link. Back to our site. Go to module. Install new module. Right hand click. Opening a new tab. Let's go to this tab and paste the link here. 
click install let's enable the module scroll down check entity API and entity tokens save the configuration now back to our pattern page let's select this and copy again and press F5 or you can load the page so that we can see the token now we paste it back the path select fashion and man click on the placement patterns notes scroll down this time we find that our category has something more we can click on it go down to parents click on parents join path this is the token we need let's click on it go up yes build it up for us now it will join all the parents of this selected category for us and put it here in this path all right so let's scroll down and save the configuration let's go to our product page again edit scroll down now under URL path settings since we have updated the pattern we need to check one more time and save yes that's exactly the path that we want product fashion men shoes note title so we have joined the parents we have the current selected category and this is the note title let's try to add another product let's go to content add content product view the title now this time we'll select under fashion we select women a second level go to body paragraph and save so we see the path is still all right product fashion as the parent and women and then we have note title let's add one more time content add content product fill in the title for category this time we will select the first level watches perhaps let's fill in the body scroll down and save now it works perfectly this means it works well for all levels that's great now this pattern is very useful when building a product catalog website hope you enjoy and let's move on to the next